Hi viewers, good day. Welcome to vSparks. Today we are going to see a demo on how to install Docker on a Windows OS. If you like this video, please subscribe to vSparks channel and click the bell icon for the latest updates. This is the agenda of this video. We are going to discuss on these topics in this video. Before seeing the demo, we will discuss the operating systems and the CPU architectures that supports Docker. Docker is supported by variety of operating system platforms, primarily Linux, Windows, Mac, etc. In Linux platform, Docker is supported in many OS distributions. To name few, CentOS, Debian, Fedora, Ubuntu, and so on. Docker is released as a desktop version in Windows and Mac operating systems. Docker is supported in other Linux derivatives as well. This table shows the supported OS distributions and CPU architectures for installing Docker. Now, let us see what are all the prerequisites to install Docker on a Windows OS. First, we need to check the hardware and the OS compatibility. Docker is supported in Windows 10 OS. Windows 10 editions like Pro, Enterprise and Education are the supported ones. It needs to have a 64-bit architecture with 4 gig of RAM. It also needs to have a virtualization enabled in its BIOS. Second, you need to have a Windows feature called as WSL, that is Windows Subsystem for Linux. It is one of the Windows features. Third, we need to enable another Windows feature called as Hyper-V. Now, we will see a demo on how to install Docker on Windows 10 OS. Step number one, we need to check the hardware and the OS specifications. This is my remote Windows 10 machine, which I connected using RDP. Go to your computer and then check the properties of it. Here you can see the processor is Intel, which is having a 8 GB of RAM and it is running with the 64 bit operating system. And you can see the Windows edition as Windows 10 Pro. Similarly, just open your task manager and check if the virtualization is enabled or not. That's it. Step number one is done. Now it's step number two, we have to enable WSL and Hyper-V features. WSL stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux. Just right click your Windows icon, select Apps and Features, scroll to the bottom and select Programs and Features. Go there and select Turn Windows Features On or Off. Just enable your WSL plus virtual machine platform plus you have to enable Hyper-V feature as well. Now our installation for these two features is started. Installation is completed and now you have to restart your system. After restart, we are connecting back to our remote system.
Now it's step number three, download and install Docker desktop on Windows 10. This installation package is available in official Docker website and it is also available in Docker Hub. Now we are going to download this installer package from the official Docker website. Just to save your time, I have already downloaded the same to my local machine. So using the installer, I'm going to install Docker now. Just double click the installer package and your installation would begin. Just enable these options if not already and then say OK. This installation will unpack the necessary files and it will install the same. In some hardwares, it may take some more time for the installation. Now the installation is succeeded. In order to complete the installation, you have to log out your system and log in back again. Now it's step number four. You have to ensure Docker is installed and started. Now I'm connecting back to my remote Windows 10 machine. After few seconds, just check if the Docker is started or not. In this machine, Docker is not started because the default WSL package is not up to the latest version. And so we are going to update the WSL package to the latest. WSL stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux. Once this package is updated, just restart the machine in order to make the latest changes into effect. Again, connect back to your remote machine and this time, hopefully the Docker engine should be started. Check the same in the Docker icon available to your right bottom. You can see the Docker is starting now. It may take few more seconds. Meanwhile, just check the Docker version in the command prompt. Just type the command docker space dash dash version to check the same. Just double click the Docker icon to open the Docker desktop version and you can see the Docker is started successfully this time. And obviously there is no containers running in Docker. Now it's step number five. We are going to run a Docker container on top of Windows 10. In order to run a container, we need a container image which we are going to download it from Docker Hub. The image which we are going to use is whale which will print a whale kind of CLI output when executed in a container. Let me open Docker Hub 
to show you that particular image. Just go to hub.docker.com and search for Velsay. There it is. The first image, docker slash Velsay. In this readme page, you can see the instructions on how to use this image. So just you have to execute this command. Once executed, you will be getting an output like that. Just copy that command and paste it in the command prompt. You can now see the container image is downloaded from the Docker Hub to the local registry with which the Docker container is started. You can very well see the CLI output as well. The same will be reflected in the Docker desktop window. That's it. This is the summary that we have discussed so far in this video. Thank you from vSparks and thank you for watching this video.